visit our website for more home construction tips for amateurs and pros. If you're laying out your anchor bolts for your framing, make sure that you have an anchor bolt on each side of a plate break. So if you have a 30 foot wall and you and you ordered two 16 foot two by two by four treated mud sill framing plates, make sure that you have a, a, a spot, you're gonna to wanna to measure 16 feet from the edge of the building foundation, if that's where the plate break works good. Uh, and then if it does, let's say you're gonna measure 16 feet, make a mark and within 12 inches of each side of that plate break, you're going to need one foundation anchor bolt each. So at each side of the plate break, you're going to need um, one anchor bolt on each side of this. And this is a big problem. A lot of concrete contractors don't even think about this because it's the framing contractor's problem. So if you don't want to be epoxying or using epoxy and putting a bunch of anchor bolts in later, it wouldn't be a bad idea for you as the framing contractor or home builder to um, get together with the framing contractor or have the framing contractor check the building foundation anchor bolt layout. This is very important, especially if these areas are near um, shear walls. So if you have a structural shear wall and you have a plate break um, right in there, it, it's, it might even affect your layout even more. So instead of spacing them at 12 inches, they might have to be spaced at about four inches. So be careful with something like that. So again, framing plates, bottom plates, are going to affect your um, anchor bolt layout. So if um, plan on ordering your framing plate building material at certain lengths for certain situations, and make sure that, you're, that you have an anchor bolt on each side of each plate break. Feel free to visit some of our other websites for more helpful tips on home construction and remodeling.